Hey everyone, John here from testprepinsight.com and today I'm going to be directly comparing the exam prep providers, PPI to pass, and School of PE. I'll cover how each company structures its prep program, what the classes and study materials are like, and ultimately I'll tell you at the end which one we think is better. So let's get to it. And by the way, I just want to mention up front here that since I'm just going to be limited to talking about the major highlights in this video today, if you find you need some more detail at any point, we also have a full written comparison of these two companies over on our website. An easy way to check that out is just to Google Test Prep Insight School of PE versus PPI to pass. That's the fastest way to get there. All right, so right at the start here, I just want to note that this is a review for both the FE and PE exams. We purchased, used, and reviewed separate FE and PE exam prep courses from each company and fully intended to do separate videos covering each company's FE and PE exam review courses, but ultimately they would have been totally redundant. While the underlying material tested for each exam is obviously much different, each company's course setup, structure, and provided materials are basically the same from FE to PE. They clearly have a format for teaching and basically just adjust based on the tested concepts. So in the end, we decided to just combine the videos into one comparison of the two companies as what we found will probably apply regardless of whether you're talking about each company's FE exam or PE exam prep course. But anyway, with that in mind, let's just get into this by doing a quick overview of each company's prep course and looking at how they stack up in terms of features. And I'll start by saying this up front. School of PE and PPI are very similar in terms of features and setup. They both leverage a lot of the same study tools and materials and it just feels very similar when you're in each company's program. Each one revolves around a student portal which houses all of your study materials. For PPI, it's called their Learning Hub. And for School of PE, it's called their Study Hub. But from this hub, you access all of your materials like your study plan, practice problem sets, performance metrics, and recorded video lectures. And even a lot of the features are kind of the same, like the on-demand video lectures, for example. They both have a picture of your instructor in the upper corner, and as they speak, they mark up the on-screen slides with notes and prom breakdowns. And each one even has the same chat box for students in the live class version to ask questions. I'll get to my more granular thoughts on these video lessons here in a minute, but the big takeaway here is that the on-demand video lectures and the live classes for that matter are fairly similar from an organizational point of view. Now, in addition to the live classes and video lectures, most other aspects of both courses are kind of similar as well. You'll get quiz generators from PPI and School of PE that both allow you to build custom practice problem sets based on whatever parameters you set. You get full-length mock exams to test yourself under exam-like conditions. There's personalized study schedules. And of course, there's the books. Each company gives you their own review guide. These manuals are basically study Bibles. And once again, they're really similar. Each one is packed with content review, equations, graphs, sample problems. And frankly, both are really good. But anyway, that's how the programs from each company work in a nutshell. You log into your hub, follow your personalized study plan, and work your way through all of this different study material. Now, before we jump straight into our team's thoughts on these two courses and which one we think is better, I also want to talk about price. On average, School of PE is cheaper than PPI to pass. The PPI Live Online course costs around $1,800, and their on-demand package with six months of access is $1,500. Now, in contrast, the School of PE Live Online courses typically cost around $1,500, which is about $300 cheaper than PPI, and their on-demand course typically costs around $1,200, again, about $300 cheaper than PPI's comparable package. So on average, School of PE is a better value from a pricing perspective. However, one thing that I'll say here is that both companies do run pretty frequent discounts, especially PPI, so make sure to check for coupon codes and sales before buying. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description down below updated with the most current discount codes and promo codes that I can find floating around out there for both companies actually. So make sure to check out that text down below the video screen and maybe save yourself some money if you do decide to go with one of these two companies. You should not have to pay full price for either. All right, so next, I wanna talk about the unique strengths of each program and where they differ from one another. Basically, the key things to know for each one. And let's start with PPI. So for them, it's all about their live classes. They are simply the best in the space. The PPI instructors have a really good grasp of the material tested on the exam, and they are really good communicators as well, which in a way I almost think is more important. Plus the PPI lesson plans are very efficient with their time and the progression of the class series is very methodical, moving from topic to topic, building on foundational knowledge and working up to the more advanced subjects. Plus, after each class, you're assigned targeted homework that reviews what you learned in class and primes you for the next session. 
So bottom line, we were just really impressed with the live classes. And if you plan to make live instruction a central component of your study plan, whether because you need the accountability and commitment that comes with a set class schedule, or you just want your hand held throughout the process, we prefer PPI to School of PE here. Then another differentiator with PPI is the written study materials. Just to give some context here, PPI's review manuals are so authoritative that some of their prep courses like Civil Engineering Academy even use the PPI written materials as the basis of their own course. But anyway, when you sign up for one of PPI's courses, you'll get a digital copy of the review manual for whatever discipline you're studying for. And although we do kind of miss the old school hard copy version of the review manual, the ebook format is actually really cool because it allows you to read a chapter and then hyperlink over and solve related practice problems in your practice book. This just gives the course a very cohesive feel and easy to use functionality. So although I miss the print version, the digital version is actually a massive improvement. Plus the manual itself provides amazing detail in a way that's still somehow very readable and usable. They do a great job of taking these mass amounts of material and distilling it down to the most essential elements while still providing the detail where it's needed. So in short, the PPI written materials are just very good and we think they edge out School of PE's guides. And then the final thing that I'll say about PPI to pass here is that they provide more practice material than School of PE. They give you several thousand practice problems and I think it's like twice or three times as many as School of PE provides, as well as two full-length mock exams, which is great. There is a very strong correlation between exam pass rates and quantity of practice material work, so this is a nice bonus for PPI students. Plus, we found the practice problems to be very realistic of what you're going to see on test day, and the accompanying solutions were solid as well. So basically, PPI also scores really big points with us for their practice work. But that's kind of it for the big highlights for PPI. They've got better live classes, written study materials, and more practice work. Okay, so now here's what we liked about School of PE's program their course structure, the self-paced video lectures, and a really good review guide. Let's take those in order. So when you're looking at the structure of this course, everything is very intuitively laid out. From the dashboard, all of your instructional material and practice work is neatly bucketed into sections under a course materials tab based on topic. Everything is very tidy and easy to follow, which benefits learners that are more organized and like to work through materials systematically. And as for what's in those folders, each one is basically a learning module for that particular topic. These are made up of five core components, written study notes, workshop problems and solutions, video lessons, quizzes, and flashcards. I'm not gonna drill down into the detail on each one of these elements since we have a separate review video on School of PE that gets into all of that great detail, but just know that we found this course structure to be very intuitive and very effective. And to be clear, it's not radically different from PPI setup, but we did just like it better. Then the second highlight here is the on-demand video lectures. They're definitely not the flashiest videos out there, but we love them from a content perspective. You'll see your instructors face up in the corner while they go through the slides, marking them up and explaining concepts and sample problems as they go. It's a straightforward approach that we found to be effective and we had a really good experience with the School of PE instructors. And then the last thing that I wanna to touch on is the School of PE review guide that they ship you when you sign up. This review guide was incredibly good contains notes, equations, cross-references, and sample problems. It does a really good job tracking with and complementing the primary lesson work. So that's kind of why we like School of PE's prep course. They provide a nice combination of systematic course structure, effective video lessons, and a solid written study guide. But anyway, that's kind of it for this video, so let me wrap it up with some final thoughts here. But before I forget, I should just mention that since you're studying for the FE or PE exam, we actually give away a free prep course every single month to one lucky person. It's really easy to enter. Just do the three simple things listed right here on screen. It'll take you less than 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you can win yourself a totally free FE or PE exam prep course. Okay, so my final verdict, which course should you go with? To be honest, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these prep courses. We've reviewed almost 10 different prep programs and study material bundles at this point, And these two companies are without a doubt in my mind, the best two out there. However, it is a tough call between them. They both offer similar course setups and a lot of the same features. But at the end of the day, if I could only pick one, I would go with PPI to pass. Their written study materials are deeper and better demonstrate key points. Their live online classes are hyper-efficient and very effective, and they offer more practice material than School of PE. So although this course is a little pricier, for those reasons, if it were me, I would go with PPI. But anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, please return the favor by subscribing to our channel. And no matter what, 
best of luck in your prep journey.